Greetings, Max. It's good to see you. Hey, Grindel. Uh, what's new? How are you? Mm, I'm doing very well. I'm coming to the end of my term with uh, Israel, so I'm getting a little bit uh, stir-crazy and wanting to leave. So, because they have other um, offers for different kinds of uh, military and different kinds of espionage kind of things for me, if I so choose to take them. Uh, would it be still on the planet? It would be still on Earth, yes. But I wouldn't start it right away. My time is going to end in November with Israel. And so I probably wouldn't take another uh, another assignment until probably February of your time. Yeah. You will miss most of the excitement. I, no, I never miss the excitement. I'm always right in the middle. Even though you may not see me there, I'm there. Are you saying that there will be nothing interesting from November to February? Oh, no, there will be plenty of interesting things. Absolutely. I'm just not going to be on assignment for those things. Oh, you'll be like a freelancer. Yes, I'm going to be freelance. All right. Um, <clears throat> so um, I'm I'm studying this um, QAnon story with, um, mm. with Trump being the savior of the world, uh, like a new messiah. Yeah. Uh, uh, is there any truth to that? Uh, let me tell you this: if there is a savior of the world right now, you would not know about it right away. They wouldn't be advertising themselves as the savior of the world. They would not be uh, blowing their own horn or people would not know about it because they wouldn't be saying it. Now, if they have chosen someone to take that role and think that there is someone that is um, a possibility for that role, yeah, then that, that might come around the world a couple times but let me tell you this, the savior of the world is not present at the moment. It is too soon. And um, if there's anyone saying that they're the savior of the world, then they're full of it. All right, so, but um, yeah, still like, uh, that is a story about Solar Warden and um, basically good military being on the side of the humanity and trying to take over the cabal and you know expose them there's many people let me tell you something about the cabal they're really unchallenged by by most humans it they have to be taken over by people out here nobody out here wants to take on your cabal because your cabal is nasty but at some point, there's going to have to be, your countries are going to have to ask for some help to overcome the cabal. Because right now they're running pretty much unopposed because nobody is as powerful as they are. So the story that the military are taking it, taking it out is, uh, is false? The military would have to recognize that there is such thing as a cabal. <laughs> and for the most part, nobody knows who they are. So how is the military going to attack them? Um, how they about have those? They idea who they are. They have an idea who they are, where the leadership is. But to get to them would take an army that is true and they could leave that premises at the snap of a finger they all have helicopters they all have jets they all have uh, private uh, planes they if anything they all have surveillance they all have everything if somebody was after them they could be gone in a flash this is the problem they are not they are not 
standing still while people are going to take them over. They are going to be somewhere else. Yeah, the news are that they are in underground bases under Antarctica, accessible by submarines. And that mm. they have, uh, how do you call it, uh, ga stargates. They do. Yeah, stargates but and portals. The thing is, the stargates are not working. They're trying to get these stargates working. The portholes, eh, they're unstable. So these cabal people are really working hard to get these things ready because that will be something that will be very helpful to them in the future. But right now, they don't know how to fix them. They have a teams of people trying to, to uh, fix them, but only the Orions and the Pleiadians really know how to fix those stargates and how to get to them because they're out of phase with your, your reality. They're in an in-between phase between third dimension and fourth dimension. And you can see them with ultra, uh, um, what is it, infrared light. Yeah, you can see them. They can see them with infrared light, but they don't know how to fix them. That's okay. Sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, they are being funded or they get their funding, uh, their money from um, all, all sorts of businesses around the world. If they're... They own them all. <laughs> yeah, if that network is exposed, then they would lose their sources, right? Correct. There's too many people in line. They can't run every corporation from where they are, except by the fact that they have hundreds and hundreds of managers and employees and leaders that are loyal to them because they treat them well and that they are... Um, paying them well, and so they're running their businesses. But they are behind them. They may have a CEO here. They may have a CEO here. But they control those CEOs. Who knows that? Who knows who controls which CEOs? Because that information is not uh, available. You cannot even find their names on the Internet. You ask the Internet for the most... Uh, the richest people in the world it will give you people that are billionaires but it won't give you royalty it won't give you trillionaires it won't give you em empire people it won't give you anybody but entrepreneurs all those other names that are higher and more uh functional in in the cabal are not mentioned no cabal name is mentioned in the internet was Kissinger was one of them? What? Was Kissinger one of them? Kissinger is connected to the cabal, but not in the leadership position. I was thinking he was one of the MJ-12. No. I see. No, he is not one of the biggies. Okay. So what about the arrests? There is like rumors that, you know, there are arrests of lots of evil people. Is it there true? Are. Yes, because the cabal is cutting their losses. They don't want to be associated with child pornography, uh, child trafficking, drugs. They want to clean up their act. They want to be seen as good guys. They want to be seen as positive. So they're allowing and actually setting up their own lower portions of their uh, organization to get caught and and uh, let go so that they're not associated with them anymore. And so that clears up and strengthens this is the, they're uh, actually, it strengthens them to get rid of them because they don't need those kinds of things anymore. They're in a much higher realm of understanding, a much higher realm of control. They don't want to control this low life stuff anymore. They want to be seen as positive and beautiful. So they're cutting all the lower low life stuff and, and having them arrested. And they're doing it on their own. The cabal is turning their own in. Wow. So uh, the same thing happens with the release of children? Yeah, they're letting go a lot of children because 
they don't want to be associated with that kind of trafficking anymore. They want to be looked as good guys. They want to be, uh, they want to clean up their organization so they look clean and pure so that when at the right time comes, they cannot be associated with any of this negativity. But then they have to replace Congress, Senate, all CEOs no, and all the actors people, and all directors. Your people voted those in. Your people are liking those people. They're, they have no connection to them as far as who they are, who vo was voted in. Yes, they do have control of that. But the people think they have voted them in. The people think that they are responsible for these people. So the cabal are innocent. Right. Um, Remember, when people vote somebody in, then the people are responsible. The cabal is innocent. Even though they may have uh, helped to push one person or the other into that office, they, they are not seen. Their connection is not seen. I see. All right. So, so what's the next... Um plague that is coming. So first was the, the, the pandemic, but what, what do they plan next? No, this isn't over yet. So the next is not coming yet? Not yet. They're still working on this one. How about earthquakes? They can easily do uh, hurricanes and earthquakes. Yeah. They have a pulse machine. Yeah. That, um, and you, you've seen it um, if you pay attention to the internet you've seen these pulse machines bring huge pulses of energy out of, out of the South Pole. And some of the areas are underneath the earth, uh, just underneath like the United States or Europe or wherever. They have giant pulse uh, abilities to bring a pulse to that area. And that is very dangerous for your tectonic and your volcanic. Right. Did they use... It also affects the weather. Did they use it to create Chernobyl? Um, they didn't have it perfected back then, but yeah, it was par partially responsible. Uh huh. Um, now the story goes that uh, 5G and chemtrails are used to uh, are used to target uh, the virus activation. Yeah, I don't think that's what they're there for. The the chemtrails and the 5G are to re terraform your planet so that another species can breathe the air. Another species can survive on your planet and you will have to leave or die. Can you clarify that? How clear do you want me to be? Just 5G is to kill people? Well... It works in conjunction with many things. So uh, I don't see 5G by itself being that harmful. But there are so many other waves and so many other things that they're using with 5G that is harmful. The chemtrails are very harmful to the atmosphere. They are what is actually terraforming your planet. And they even have pictures of uh, ships actually p pouring gas into the atmosphere that are not uh, airplanes. Uh, they have pictures of this on Ancient Aliens, which is on television. So uh, they even have pictures on television about it. But they don't know what they're doing. They said, look at this. Now there's a trail coming out of this square ship here. This is, well, wonder what that is. It's, it's poison. So they are trying to destroy the atmosphere. And they will eventually do it if it wasn't for the help of some aliens taking chemicals and things out of your atmosphere. So there are those helping. But 5G by itself, uh, I don't know. I'd have to study it more, but I would think that it's, not that harmful by itself, but with, in conjunction with a bunch of other things, could probably be very harmful. Um, 
but you know, mm -hmm. I'm not a, I am not a, an authority on that. So uh, there might be people out there going, what? Well, I know that. But uh, calm down, everybody. I'm not an authority. I'm just telling you, uh, I, what I hear from high level leaderships about 5G, they have no, eh, they have no worries about it, even for themselves. Great. So what about 5G is uh, being used for mind control? No, it can't be. Uh, I will uh, go over that scenario with you. Mind control cannot be controlled by a wave because everybody's brain waves are different. Now, there is a certain section of, uh, of energy or waves that can control some people but it cannot control everyone. That wave would have to have many different kinds of uh, internal variances within it to be able to control the population. You have one kind of thought wave and vibration, but the person next to you may have a different one. And they cannot put into a wave enough to get the whole population under control this is just impossible for them at the moment they may learn how to do that in the future however for right now no they can get grasp a portion of the population but that isn't what they want that's not good enough they do, they want all of the population right now it's the lower intelligence area that that can be controlled because they can sort of get that lower frequency under control, but not everyone is under that influence. And actually they stopped doing it. They're going to try to use different methods to get control of people that are actually more effective. And that would be uh, the, the nanobots, but that's not for a good while now. But if, if you infuse people with nanotechnology, it will learn the system, the brain, the body, the everything, and that could be a form of mind control. So the vaccine that they're uh, pushing, uh, would it be used for mind control? I, it's highly unlikely at this <clears throat> period because it's too expensive. Nanobots are very expensive to make and very expensive to distribute. Uh, just a couple nanobots are worth, are, uh, you know, thousands of dollars. So you can't have a whole world full of people with nanobots at this time because it's too expensive to duplicate them and to b build them. So not right now. Maybe that's the idea for them. Maybe they can only mind control the leadership. Yes. <laughs> now. They, I believe that that is a good thought because some leadership is under mind control. I'm not sure what kind, but I know that there are certain leaders that are definitely under mind control of some sort. How, how can people protect themselves from mind control? Uh, I don't know. You can't wear a raincoat, that's for sure. Um, it's... It's something that you don't know how to protect from because you don't know how they're going to do it yet. Right. Next story is that uh, Cabal is moving the uh, the dominance, I guess, the, the military dominance to China, that China will take over the control of the planet. Well, they're... China is a good place to have control. Those people follow blindly. Those people are very loyal. They are taught from, from youth <coughs> to be loyal, to follow directions, to do what you're told. They're told what to do and they do it. If you wanted a society of, of army people, there you have it. Because the Chinese are stern they're less emotional and they don't, they are taught to be less emotional. Do not be, they're taught not to be concerned if someone's crying. 
they have to take care of their own. So they are, have been programmed for many, many years now to be sort of robotic. And they have fewer emotions than any other societies. That's a great observation. Yes. So um, how soon is it coming? Your guess is as good as mine. They have to find the right time, the perfect time. And that time has not come up yet. But you will know it when it happens, because it will be more than evident. Yeah, they say that China is uh, quietly building military strength in the space, and they will just uh, shut down, will shut down all the American uh, satellites, and this way they will take control of the, of the world. American satellites are only part of it. If you shut down American satellites, boo-hoo, you, you lost your television and your, your emails and all, all that stuff, but they have to do a lot more than that. The thing is, they would have to then have a military uh, coup of some sort. They would have to have something come and take over. That could happen very easily with all all the technology down because your governments won't be able to be in control of the people except with bullhorns on the street so you you have the military uh, coming out to protect the people in your country but if you have china coming to drop bombs that's not going to be very protective unless these military are taking them to underground shelters and educating them what to do next right right yeah i don't know the details but the idea was that you know if they take over the uh, the the uh, you know the thing is to take over the satellite uh system they have to really have some high technology going on they don't have that quite yet okay if they did they would be using it no, the idea was that they would wait for the time when they have um, enough to take or take do oh, one hit and they would be testing it by now. Mm, I don't know. Yes, there would be some tests. You would be hearing about people saying, "Oh, the satellite system in our area went down for a bit." They would be testing it. Don't think they're not. They have to test it before they go into full combat. Otherwise, they could fail. So they must test it. They must know what they're doing, and they must test it on the real thing. So, what do you think about Trump's elections? Politics again. Okay. Um, well, uh, this this time this politics affects us really strongly. Like it's it's all about you know sitting at home or stepping out and being able to actually be in the nature. It's very very important. Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what you just said. Oh, uh, until now, politics was somewhere else, but now it comes right to our lives. Yes, it does. But you see, there's so much misinformation. I can't say anything without somebody getting heated. So um, I prefer not to talk about your American election because it's divisive. It's you you have a great deal of division in your country there's nothing i can say to unify it there's nothing i can say to say um uh, this is going to make it better because it's not no there is nothing to make it better it's so far divided that listen to this a house divided against itself will fall that means this nation is at the brink of failure, complete and utter failure. But how do you tell a nation to come together? How do you tell a nation to become unified when you have so many people hating each other from one side to the other? That is what they want. They want, the cabal wants this nation to fall because it's always been in control. This is their one big problem they want to take the united states out because it's everybody is afraid of the united states but if the united states falls 
Ah, the world breathes easy. All right? No more uh, uh, United States coming in to do this or do that or take over this or push their, push their agenda here, there, and everywhere because that's what they do. That's why they're so hated. But the cabal wants the United States to fall so they can have more control. Is it for me time to, to leave? I mean, I can still go to Russia very easily. Mm, well, what do you see? What do you see from this nation? From Russia or, or from America? America. It sounds very much like Russia before it fell apart. Exactly. It's like 1990, 1990 or 1989. Doesn't it sound pretty much the same? Yep. And people were just hating each other still and not unifying. If I had a message for America, I would say, stop hating each other. Stop inciting each other. What are you doing? You're just cause you're part of the problem and not the solution. You're part of the problem and not the solution. If you say one person's a savior and then boo hoo on the other person and point fingers and condemn, you're part of the problem no matter who you are. You're part of the problem if you're not unifying. If you're taking sides, you're part of the problem. But yet, there's no other way right now. You have to vote for one or the other. So there, you have to be divided. Right now, the division is so severe. What is a moderate in your country? There is no such thing as a moderate. There's only extreme left and extreme right. And the moderates have to go one way or the other. Right. Thanks. Uh, so what's new with Israel? Um, is there like a, a planetary mission for Israel? Uh, Israel's in charge of some of the safety of the world. There's no question about that. The decisions that Israel make are incredibly important to the world, especially within this next five to 10 year period. Is it about war or no war? It is to some extent, but no war can be as bad as war if they make the wrong decisions about how not to have war. It's very complicated. I cannot explain it to you here because it's sort of uh, eh, something I can't talk about. Is it related to Stargates? Uh, no. It's related to direct politics of the world mm. and how to manipulate them and how to control them. And this is another thing that Cabal is wanting is direct contact with all governments, which they have contact with most, but not all. About 60%, but that's not enough. Is, is uh, Mossad under control of Cabal? Mm, to some extent. They're getting more control. I mean, they're getting more independence? Yeah. Or Cabal is getting more control of Mossad? Cabal is getting more control there, but it doesn't have con all the control they want. Uh-huh, I see. Gosh. But remember this. They do things so smartly. They do things so systematically. They do things with great finesse. It seems like they're just coming in and clearing up all your problems and sweeping every all the nastiness away, and that's how they get you. So maybe they're not as bad. Well... Let's see what they're like when they're in control. I lived in Soviet Union. It was a rotten system, but there was some grace in it. Grace is part of their act, definitely. But grace uh, does not cover everything. Yeah, more, more, the, the, the biggest thing that bothers me is that they are manipulating secretly. Of course. 
they, but they already told you that they're nice guys and good people and they want the best for the world, blah, blah, blah. But what they really want, what they really desire is pure control so they can do whatever they want, whenever they want to, with the world and keep everybody on the same page. If they wanted everybody to have red hair, then they would have control over that. That wouldn't be that bad. No, you have red hair. <laughs> okay. So, um, what I is... I have a little bit of scales here and there, so I wouldn't <laughs> want red hair. I'd have to wear a wig on your planet. All right. So, um, you said that uh, terraforming to have uh, humans replaced with another species. Which species would that be? Well, there is insectoids and rep uh, reptilians. Not my reptilians, but Zeta reptilians are the foremost. Greys, they can all be, uh, they can all go through a process that would be able to breathe um, the air that they're trying to formulate on the planet. There are processes out there that can change your breathing technique, breathe, uh, your uh, the uniformity of your being so that you can exist in another dimension or another atmosphere or another density. They have these kinds of machineries available. Of course, they can also adapt to, to uh, live on the earth the way it is. However, that means they would have to kill all the people. But this way, it makes it easier. They just kill them by uh, contaminating them, and then they can just move on. So is it also under the plans of Cabal? Cabal, they are looking out for the planet against these people. They don't like the reptilians. They don't like the greys. They don't like the insectoids. They don't like anyone from the outside. So all their funding goes on into uh, keeping them away and keeping us uh, that are here on the planet, here on the planet, and everybody out there, out there. But chemtrails are done by airplanes, and uh, so it's within the system. They're, re they're redoing for fuel formulas. So this, the kind of... Uh, chemtrails that you're seeing that are bad. You see, most chemtrails are ice crystals. You know that, right? Oh. Yes, they're mostly ice crystals from because the the exhaust is coming out and freezing. That's what you're seeing. You're not seeing smoke. You're seeing a, a bunch of ice crystals mostly. There is some smoke in there, but it's ice crystals. So they're taking and making a better formula out of the fuel so that it's not as pollu able to pollute as much. So it's e easier from there for them to move forward and not have as much pollution. But the, what the, the other species are definitely putting some pretty foul stuff in the air. All right. So um what is our hope is there like a positive force that are actually helping us is there, is there like some... there yes there are those out here that are helping as much as they can but we're waiting waiting for your governments to ask for help and they need to do that soon if not they're going to push themselves to the brink of extinction they need to ask for our help out here. They need to do that. And then we will help a little bit more than we are able to now. And we will even stay out of sight. We will even do that. <laughs> but they have to ask. Right. Uh, but um, suppose uh, there, is a, there is Cabal and there is... Um, governments asking for help and they get a little bit of help but cabal is much more skillful in managing the planet and the governments with the help of the uh, positive aliens are they actually capable of 
doing anything positive? It looks like it'll be a big mess. Think of all our believe they are capable of handling the planet, but they want to depopulate it first because they can't handle it with this much population. They want to they want about a third of the population that's here. That's when they'll be able to handle it. You see, I didn't mention that before. They want to depopulate so they can handle who is all here and what is all here. They want to depopulate. That's the reason for diseases. That's the reason for earthquakes. That's the reason for bad weather. That's the reason they would do this. They send it to areas in, of high population. Now, there are aliens that are helping to uh, keep people safe because it, they know that some of this is not normal and some of this is not necessary. So they're, they're doing what they can to keep people safe, but they're not allowed to do too much. So you have to understand where the cabal, why, why the cabal is doing what it's doing. It wants to depopulate so it has more and more control. So my point is, from my experience in Soviet Union when it was falling apart, there was a system, only one system, it was pretty evil, but it was a system which ha held the, the country apart. And uh, the other system didn't appear. I mean, it doesn't just come from nowhere if you just have people with good intentions and they come and try to build a new system, they do just don't have enough time because you can't replace a working system with something which is not even tried. So it just fell apart and just crashed. And if we have a system which is controlled by cabal and we invite the positive aliens and now every government will try to work with the positive aliens which don't take charge, just give a little bit of help, we will have a big mess and the whole global economy will fall apart and uh, it will just crash. So my yeah. point is maybe it's better to cooperate with Cabal who knows how to manage the system rather than to try to replace it with something which, where nobody takes charge. You're missing something. With the Cabal, they're not going to invite any aliens in to help. They're going to keep all the aliens out. Aliens are not part of their plan. They're not going to invite any aliens in to help. They want to depopulate so they have to total control, keep everyone out, keep everyone in. That's their plan. No friendly aliens to help. No. You answered one part of the question, but you didn't answer the other. How that system, how that system will be prevented from crashing? Suppose Cabal is taken, taken down, and we have this many billion of people on the planet and no central government. I don't think they will survive. I think it will depopulate by itself. Either oh, no, way, believe me, there will be a central government. That's when they depopulate. They will put. They will know exactly where they can set up their uh their centers for control they'll put people in charge of them they will they will see who is loyal they will see who is not loyal to them they will keep those that are loyal they will get rid of those that are not and they will have their world set up and then they will grow the population back up oh i didn't hear what i said suppose we take cabal down no yeah. more cabal. Uh, would the planet survive after that? Yes. Would the population survive after that? Of course. You think so? Yeah. I think so. But you you never know with your Earth people what they're going to do. But right. your governments know about the cabal. They know about aliens. They know about all things. They... There is intelligence on your planet. That's an amazing, that's amazing. You have amazing intelligence around the planet. Double spies, triple spies, spying for three or four countries or four or five. You have people with information all over the place and they're sharing it. And they're, and all countries know about this. Stuff. They know they need to get this information to everybody. 
because without that information, they will die. But there is a lot of information going around the world. We know who the cabal is. They're giving names. They're giving places that they don't know all of them, but they know some of them. It's leaked out or it's partially known or it's a or there is a good estimation or guess that this is a cabal member. So they are spreading that information to the governments of the world. They're spreading that information all over. They're spreading everything they know everywhere. Yeah, that's my point. I mean, the cabal wouldn't be able to govern uh, in uh, open society. They only can govern in secrecy. Correct. Now, let's take the cabal side. The cabal is also sending out information all over the world to support their side, to support their thought process, and to support what they want the people to know. So the cabal also has hundreds of thousands of agents with some good information and some information of theirs. So what do you have? You have to die, decipher what is the good and what is the bad. Right. So you have that all over the world right now. Thank you. My time is running out. I still need to speak to Metatron. Would you be able to invite him. Thank you very much. Lots of great help and lots of uh, good good info. Nice to have your help. All right, Metatron. Yeah, he's here. All right, one moment. Yeah. 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 Greetings, I am Metatron. I'm Metatron, welcome, I'm Max. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you, Max. Thank you. So, I am missing, I, I, I'm, I'm so focused on negativity that I'm missing the positive side. Who is helping us on the positive side? Those that are in the light worker groups, the angels are helping for the positive side god is working on the positive side those that are doing the healing of the earth there are many healers out there sending healing all over the world and they are helping the earth with the power of their healing there you have people like uh sarah that is doing toning for the world that's cleaning up the lands the streams and the oceans so there are many out there doing very positive work very positive uh, ideas, healing and helping, and um, uh, being neighborly and having unconditional love one for another. So those are the ones that are helping the earth. If you get too caught in the negative, in the conspiracy theories, you're not going to know much about the positivity, and you're not going to know how to get out of the trouble if you get into it, because you won't have the positive to help you. What you mentioned is mostly like on a grassroots level doing the energy work, but uh, how about actually positive governments, positive governing, positive organizations? There are many. You have many positive organizations around your planet. Uh, those that those that help people daily, heart centers, lung centers. The, you don't be believe them to be positive because they're large organizations, but they're putting out very positive vibes to the world and to the people around them, helping them. Um, the Ronald McDonald House even is helping. And any of those, like St. Jude's Hospital and things of that nature, which don't even charge people to have their children uh, have cancer removed and treatments given to them. They are funded by uh, by donations and people that are wanting the children to survive. And they they are not supported by any government group or anything, but 
by light workers, by beautiful, positive people. There are many, many organizations such as this. I mean, I meant uh, when we take when we take down the cabal, who is gonna organize the planet? You see, I see what you cannot see, and that is that whenever the light workers become as powerful as they're going to be, they will take down the cabal. They don't have to come up against them. All they have to do is survive the negativity. All they have to do is survive what is happening. The world will open its eyes and they will not accept that which they know is wrong. And eventually they will see the cabal for who they are before the cabal takes complete control. Um, is there like um, a group of positive aliens and uh higher energy beings who are taking charge of the planet? Yes. There are those that are inborn aliens that have come just for this time to take control. There are prophets from the past and creator beings from the highest realms on your planet at this time working to bring positivity and light to this world. They will succeed if we all work together. Now, do not bury your head in the darkness. Be aware that there are many great light worker groups here and that they will get stronger. And they will, uh, there's many battling uh, negative forces constantly and are being attacked daily by negative forces, but they are surviving and they are standing up to the negativity and pushing it back. Uh, what is the timeline? What do you mean? Like, uh, you know, we it's have to go through the darkness first and then maybe in a few generations we'll get out? <laughs> it doesn't work quite like that. Um, right now you are on the main timeline. This is the timeline that intersects with many timelines because that's the way it has to work. But remember, you don't have to, if you are in danger, they can take you to another timeline temporarily and bring you back just to save your life from negativity and from uh, harm. I think I meant, I meant just uh, the schedule, like uh, how soon do we get uh things happening like uh, you know there was 25 years thousand years of darkness and now we're coming out right correct so this is a new generation the awakening has started it started in the late 60s but it and it was a very slow to awaken and then came the 2000s it started to awaken even more and, and then came 2012 where the beginning of the new, the new ascension period began. The end of the darkness was then, where all the ancient calendars ended, the beginning of a new calendar started for the light workers. Mm -hmm. mm. So, um, I heard the Nokian language and uh, uh, the book by uh, John D. Can you comment anything? Is it a good thing? I don't know this person. The Nokian Who? language and John D. He uh, he was the author of uh, the books of uh, plays by uh, Shakespeare. John D. The you know the historical figure of Shakespearean times. Um, uh, uh, he was a magician of high level and uh, he, wrote, he yeah. left some books. And let me tell you this. I know, I know who you are speaking of. And his energy is very positive for the most part. He did not do 100% positive work. But he was a positive figure for the most part. And I would applaud him for the positive things that he's done and left behind. But he did leave behind some darkness as well. Now. 
let me tell you this. In that day and age, a certain kind of magic was in play, which is now fading away. That kind of magic is not uh, going to last into the next generation too far. The new magic is different. It's a white magic. It's a positive magic. It works differently. It does not work in the same way as the old magic did. Even though the old magic could be used in very positive ways, this white magic, it can be turned dark, of course, but used in its proper form can save the world. Thank you. So um, the main topic of today is uh, manipulation. We feel that a lot of things are manipulated. Um, we are experiencing daily the results of this manipulation. Yes, you are. Um, so what would, would be your advice how to relate to it? I would say you don't relate to manipulation. You break through it. What you do is this. You pray. You meditate. You learn what light is all about. And you learn what darkness is all about. You, have to, you do have to know the difference. But when the light encounters manipulation, it knows it. It recognizes it as a dark thing. Because you're working with the light, how can you not recognize the dark? You say, many people are fooled by manipulation. It's true. That's because they're not living fully in the light. They're living in the gray matter, the, the karma of the earth. They're living in partial light and partial darkness. So it's easy to be fooled. You are half in the light and half in the dark. So which way, which one is which? It's gray. So how do you know if it's a gray white or a gray black? You must find the light and be brilliant within it. And then you will see dark for what it is. Is Lucifer real? He is as real as you make him. Mm -hmm. Um, so are fallen angels are, are fallen fallen angels are they um, in control of cabal? No, not necessarily. They may support the cabal, but and they may be friends with the cabal and give them great advice on how to be more cabal like. But they are actually not allowed to be part of the cabal. So what supernatural forces stand behind the cabal? Oh, you are right. They're negative. They're right there. They're behind the cabal. They're enforcing the cabal. They're telling the cabal that they're doing the right thing, but they are not the cabal. So is it the main force which is uh, uh, power, power in, uh, there are great dark energies behind the cabal. Uh, what are these energies? Are these like draconian energies? Uh, are these uh, fallen angels? What, what are these? You name it and that dark energy is there. You name it, that dark energy is there. Because they use all of the energies they can. They are not ones that care about morality or care about people individually or as a group even. They care about their own families, perhaps. But as far as those people on the streets, they don't care. They don't care about populations. They want to get rid of the populations so that they can control everything. So they're not loving and guided at all. Um, I love the movie Good Omens. And there is uh, actually a role played uh, for you there, like a, a character of you. Uh, Metatron, which is uh, pretty funny, and uh, they um, they show the fight between light uh, so forces of light and forces of darkness, and um, the main conclusion is that the fight is delayed to the future. I just wonder if it is um, a good uh, allegory for what we have in here. 
the, the light, uh, forces of light and darkness prepare for the war, but maybe the war will not happen. The, the fight between light and dark is going on continuously. It may not be like the movie. It is in, instead like a game more than a movie because you have to play your cards correctly. You have to know the difference between light and dark and know how to move your, move your chess pieces into battle formation so that you can win the game. Is it winnable? Absolutely. Okay, um, so I invite a closing blessing and my time is over. Thank you very much for coming. Noratoriata Arunai Karamona Uri Aliengea non Dura Sashenzivas Mohuri Aranda Vasatina and the Korda Korindia Sinzavara Shura Masikatara and Diviti Anda Shuninana Aleranda Baku Rutata Sivishi could not take Ori Vidi Sinzvasata. Yashanza, shun divisa ran, nala onda bori yetasava. Matati gu ukaraf, frindashim zies, frindashim zies ridia sunzu, unjan jata, shututura. I don't know, I get it, dear, jesha we, and yashua kowa. Cassie bees. Pacham Jalom, Che Tutia Tavon Mosho in the Botita Mori Rendi. Hello? Oh, Jim, welcome back. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, when is the workshop starting? The 13th. Well, Thursday, the 13th. Okay, so we will skip the, uh, and uh, when it's ending? The 17th, the Monday. Okay, so I see in, in four weeks then. I'll skip All it. Right. Unless I, I will be on the workshop through uh, through the web. All right. Uh, so you don't invite any more people to the workshop. It's it's full. Uh, how about online participants? There's more room for online, as many as you, we can. But the uh, in-person group is filled. How do how do online people can uh, how can online people sign up? They can go to ukulo. Uh, go. Angie has a place for the workshop online. Okay. It's on humancolony.org and I think it's on Facebook as well. Okay. And they can go to the workshop and then they can ask questions through there or okay. send money through there and all kinds of things. So all right, ask Angie or ask me. I will I will then direct you to Angie. All right. right. Bye bye, Jim. Bye everybody. Bye bye.